I'll just throw that up there. Picking up an emergency broadcast. Rendezvous coordinates. They're evacuating the planet. We're on our own. I'll start talking now. I just wasn't going to talk for that part because it's very, uh, this whole part is really sad, but specifically that part. It's really intense, by the way, if you can't already tell. 
these guardians. They had no chance without their powers. That could be us. Guardian, if you die, I can't resurrect you. We need to be very careful. This is a really, really sad mission. I was kind of distracted the first time I did it. Oh, you don't even palm them anymore. You just you punch them like a titan. That's interesting. You don't have powers. Twilight Gap, my favorite crucible map from Destiny 1. Didn't look like this. <laughs> again. Is it following us? Or are we following it? first glance, it might seem like you could just go through this mission without feeling anything, but they did an amazing job of helping you feel so much through this. Uh, just imagining if all this is real, like the way hum humanity turns out, this right here, the last city, the last civilization of humans burning like that, and the traveler encased. And the reason that we can die, even though we used to not be able to die, is because it's captured. Like, that's a powerful image. And I think Bungie captured it really well. Jeez, I really don't like him in this game. You have to be so close to enemies to make it worthwhile.
Oh, look. Somebody left a perfectly good guardian lying around. Things must be worse than I thought. And that's our cue. Time to go, people! Uh, but wait. Where... where are you all going? As far away from here as possible. That falcon... it belongs to you? The name's Hawthorne, and this is Lewis. Best pilot we got. What about you? Fit to fly? Probably gonna need one of these, too. Time to make yourself useful, Guardian. All right, people, spin them up! Got a long flight ahead of us! city is secure. Those who fled are being hunted, and those foolish enough to remain have been executed. Victory, as will all things, is yours to claim. This victory is as much yours as mine, old friend. All that remains is the completion of the cage around this great machine. Then we may begin the extraction of its power and put it to its rightful use. They call it the Traveler. I would contend that other civilizations may be more precise in their naming. Its functions can be controlled and exploited, as we have so clearly proven. Yet they believe it to be a god. Dominus. Gaul. We have spent our lives, you and I, working to reshape our society, reforge our people, rebuild an empire nearly destroyed by Callus's greed and corruption. There is nothing in this universe greater than you. The Red Legion will have that machine's power. You will be called Emperor. What more would the Dominus have? I would have words with my guest. Coming up on the European dead zone. Gonna be our new home for a while. Look, do you recognize it? That's where we're supposed to go. That thing? They call it the Shard of the Traveler. I call it not a place you want to go poking around.
So, I did a video during the beta of the farm, and it's different now because, well, obviously there are uh, the vendors are here now, which is uh, nice. And of course, the chickens. Don't forget about the chickens. <laughs> um, the first thing it wants you to do is go talk to Tyra. 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 But <laughs> I'm gonna pick up my stuff first. I can't use these. These are uh, a bunch of stuff I have for my other character. Uh, I have to be level 20 or at least something higher to use that. Same with these things. I like the exotic uh, that you get for pre-ordering the game, which is awesome, by the way. But I will pick up emotes for my uh, limited edition. This is for the limited edition, right? No, is this... One of these is from the limited edition and the other one's from the pre-order. I don't remember which is which. Pick up my deluxe edition emblem, my beta emblem, the soundtrack emblem, the buying something from the store emblem, the finishing the first game emblem. There's so many in here that are so cool. This is for getting all the grimoire. Might actually be fun to pick up on my warlock. Um, and then all these are from, well not all of these. These are from my uh, the three different hunter ones for completing the subclasses. Got a... Uh, from legendary public events and for getting all I think this is for not for completing the story I think it's for unlocking all subclasses I don't remember I got it at some point and then the various other ones I've earned throughout the game I still haven't done a lost sector on IO I just have earth titan and nessus so I need to do that um I won't pick up any of those for now but I will equip those. I'm going to equip, uh, lock those and equip Shadow Dance, which is my favorite, definitely. I actually want to put that here. I'm picky about the order of my, <laughs> my stuff here. I think for this character, uh, the Lower Scholar one is cool. But, um, I think I'm going to go for the one from the soundtrack, just because I think that looks cool. See all my burnt, all my gear here. Lost light thing there, chilling. Another weird thing, notice that my inventory it carries over all my consumables from my other characters, which is interesting. Um, I think that overall that's a good thing. Look at all the mods I've gotten, my gosh. I'm not going to use any of these uh, transmat effects at this point. I did get this ornament for a hard light. I don't have hard light though yet. So that's a cool looking ornament for it. Um, and then shaders. I have a bunch of them here. My favorite one is Golden Trace, which is like a carbon fiber and gold kind of look. It doesn't look like much of my armor. <laughs> I don't even think you can put shaders on this armor, so that's probably why it doesn't show anything. But it's a cool shader. Um, maybe it'll show you, like, can I put it on? No, because this is a common weapon. Show sure, later, though. Also, Tyra has aged from the first game, which is weird because she's a guardian, and guardians don't age. But she definitely I'm looks glad older. To see you safe. I am uh, Tyra. Tyra Karn. I'm sorry. Have we met before? Losing my connection to the light has been disorienting. Now, I understand you seek the shard of the Traveler. I too have dreamt of it. Its jagged, broken edge. A wound that never heals. But I do not trust its pull. Like us, the shard no longer knows the light. Not since the Traveler cast it off during the Collapse. For centuries, it has twisted and corrupted everything around it. Where it lies is now a place of death. If you are determined to go, remember, we Guardians are no longer immortal. You know, that word keeps getting thrown around. Immortal. Guardians were never immortal. There was a Grimoire card about uh, one of the Iron Lords 
killing a warlord who they're both guardians well before they were called guardians and he killed him his ghost came to revive him and revived him so it says his shotgun cracked twice once for the warlord and once for his ghost which is a chilling grimoire card because it says basically See the thing. you know he killed the thing this that is, is required to revive him Ooh. lot of civilization for me at least of course I've been living outside the city half my life so anyway heard you want to go poke around that busted up hunk of traveler <laughs> you guardians have a weird idea of a good time oh well Lewis and I know plenty about trusting your gut so I'm not about to stop you I got enough to deal with here take that ship you flew here at least it'll get you back faster see all these refugees I haven't lost one yet don't you be my first <laughs> as I was saying yeah so it is possible to kill a guardian you just have to kill their ghost and uh, and then I'm kill here. them again which is kind of the same idea here because the ghost is what revives you and uh, they've gone over that like Eris from Destiny 1, she had her ghost destroyed by Crota's forces under the moon. And she said, you know, she, if she dies, she can't revive herself. She can't be revived. She's, she's gone. Which is why she doesn't do battles anymore. For first time seeing the exo dance. Oh, that's kind of creepy. Okay, let's just go, guy. Okay, we got powers to get back. I love the new director, by the way. The fact you don't have to go back to orbit to do anything and everything you want to do, I and mean, it still takes you back to orbit. It's like, hey, wait, I'm still supposed to be on Earth. Let's go back. <laughs> But it's one step, which is nice. You don't have to load up orbit and then load up the mission. It just takes you, which is really nice. You sure you want to do this? That shard is the reason this place is called a dead zone. We have to, Hawthorne. It's a sign. Yeah, a sign that says dead zone. <laughs> the European dead zone is really cool. Uh, Bungie said it's their biggest destination they've ever put in a Destiny game. And I believe it. It's massive. But you know, um, it's also just really cool aesthetic to it. I mean... Nothing says, come visit, like a dark haunted forest. But non-guardians aren't supposed to leave the city. Here's the thing about city rules. They stop applying once you leave the city. Nobody goes farther than that. At least nobody who wants to come back. Like, this is a gorgeous place. They did really good designing it. Let me know when you reach me. Hawthorne. Hawthorne, can you hear us? Signal's dead. Oh, 
those fallen weren't wearing any house colors we've seen before. Nope. They're supposed to be House of Stone, but the lore is a little bit different for this game. Like they've, they've apparently there's been some changes, which will be revealed with time. It's not like a story spoiler. It's just, uh, you know, I'll still leave it for lore bits if I happen to find them along the way. Can't guarantee I'll find everyone that I found when I played through. I also might find some that I didn't find when I played through. Because there's no Grimoire cards like there was in the first game. All the lore is in the game, which is really nice. Uh, I mean, it does mean you can't just look it all up at once online, but... This is it. Right out of our vision. Floating rocks. The like everlasting fire right here or something. Unless this just crashed. Oh, hello. No. Now is not the time, Dregs. I mean, it's the perfect time to attack a guardian <laughs> when they can't revive themselves. Oh man. Maybe, you know, actually aim good. That'd be a good idea. Ah, oh, watch out for the wretches. Brand new enemy type. <laughs> They're pretty awesome, actually. I don't know, I think the Marauders are my favorite. Of the new ones, anyway. But the wretches are great, too. That was a fail. Something for you. Really powerful sounding shotgun. Really cool sound, actually. Another one. Remember that. I've done this twice in the last 48 hours, but scared don't remember away. it. Take me to the shard.
this is why we were led here. I haven't been as close to the Traveler's Light since... Do you feel it? Hold on to your helmet. Do you feel it? The light is back. We're back. Eyes up, Guardian. <laughs> if I had a dollar for every time Ghost has said that, I'd have, what, three dollars? <laughs> but still, iconic. Time to shout. Yeah! Light. Need more Dawn Blade. That's how it's done, boys. <laughs> 